Your next comic has a podcast called Ladies and Ladies on Maximum Fun. Everybody make it real loud for Barbara Gray. hitting on me recently because uh, I got some junk in my front or whatever and, I, <laughs> and uh, I'm not used to it I grew up in Salt Lake City uh, where black people are uh, mythical <laughs> one of the only black guys in my high school died of a heart attack in college that's how stressful it is to be black in Salt Lake City <laughs> his heart was like nope I'm done um Anyway, ladies, right? Okay. Uh, <laughs> you just wink at me? All right, cool. Ladies, we like chocolate dick, though, don't we? No, I don't know. That's good. I wouldn't make life easier if, if dicks were made out of chocolate. Hell yeah. I know my life would be a little bit easier, right? Yeah, if dicks were made out of chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> Cause then I wouldn't have gonorrhea. <laughs> Cause if I'm not, <laughs> if I'm not drinking a Cosmo, I better be reading a Cosmo, right, ladies? All right. I'm not. It's a. It's rhetorical. You don't have to answer. Um. I actually were like, you said you're the one who voted for Romney? You were also the one who, when he was like, does anybody know what that stands for? You're like, fuck him hard in the ass. <laughs> Same dude. All right. To establish. Same dude. Um, I, uh, I, um, I, went, I went to see uh, my gynecologist, and every time I go there, she asks me if I'm currently in a relationship. She doesn't ask me if I'm sexually active. She says, are you in a relationship? And I was like, no, I'm not in a relationship. And she goes, oh, okay, well, let's not worry about birth control then. And I'm like, oh, let's back up a second. <laughs> uh, I'm in a thing. <laughs> you know, Dyer, it's one of those things where he texts me at 2 in the morning, and then I drive for 45 minutes on ball tire. <laughs> You could call him and ask if we're in a relationship. That would be great. Yes. <laughs> Don't think I'm allowed to ask, actually. Um, his name is Dan, but he's in my phone as Big Dick Don't Call. So can... <laughs> I don't know you. Uh, I'm sure some of you have made regrettable life choices, such as myself. Um, I definitely have a phone that has a few like questionable names in it now, like hookups, who I'm like, I like you're laughing so hard next to him. Who's in your phone, him or what, who? He's just don't answer in your phone, and look where you are now. I, uh, I do though, I have like guys that I don't want to keep in there, but I have to in case they try to contact me. There's one guy in there with creep, which is like 10 E's, you know? And, I have this fear now that I'm gonna get into some kind of accident and someone's gonna get a hold of my phone to like contact someone and they're just gonna call this guy because it's like, oh, he must be important. She called him last night five times at 3.30 in the morning. <laughs> he must be her emergency contact. <laughs> and then they call him and he's like, hello? And they're like, oh, hello, is this Matt Canadian Foreskin? <laughs> And he's like, yes? <laughs> what is this all about? <laughs> he's like, Barbara's been in a, in a terrible accident. You know, we're going to need you to get down to the hospital. She's been very badly burned. If you have any extra skin, maybe, that we can <laughs> graft onto her face, she's going to need it. And he does it, you know, because we had a good time or whatever. And uh, then, like, we get the operation done. And... We have this just connection across the universe where every time someone touches my face, he feels it in his dick. You know? so, you guys ever worry about that happening with your old hookups? I have, um, I've been trying to, to meet guys. I, I hear guys like girls who are mysterious. 
you know? So I put a fog machine under my bed. <laughs> um, yeah, it's like, it's an awkward uh, five to ten minutes of silence while it warms up. <laughs> And, uh, and then I just blow in their ear, and I'm like, do I have AIDS? And I disappear. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, did I get the light? I couldn't see him. Okay, thank you. Uh, um, I, uh, I have dated a lot of weird guys. I live in LA, and I've dated a lot of weirdos. Uh, I went out with one guy who asked me to give him a hand job in the haunted mansion at Disneyland once. And I was like, maybe, you know. <laughs> as long as this is like a getting caught in public fetish and not a ghost threesome fetish. Because I don't know if you've been on the Haunted Mansion ride, but there's a ghost that comes into the ride at the end with you, like a hologram. What if that's what he's into? I don't know. He's like, yeah, do it now. <laughs> not that I want to be into trying it, but I hear you get jealous in threesome, so what if we do it, and then later on he can't get it up, and I'm like, you're just thinking about that ghost bitch again. <laughs> Seriously though, before I go, top three most fuckable ghosts, guy. <laughs> Anybody what? Casper. Yeah, the 14 year old child. <laughs> Sounds hot. Um, no, obviously number one, Patrick Swayze's character in Ghosts. Oh! Yeah, girls. Number two, Patrick Swayze's real ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen that tongue? <laughs> I'm Brian, thank you so much. Bye. Barbara Gray, everybody, keep it going. You can see, uh, you guys can see your next comic in the forthcoming Bobcat Goldsweight movie, Willow Creek. Everybody, make a real laugh for Bucky Sinister.